Heidi Ho. This is the riot. Uh, so what is this? What is I that? Um, I don't even know. Is that it's not Swedish or Schborgen or sure it is. Bork, it's Bork. Swedish Borgen. Is that what that is? Yes. Like a smorgasbord. Smorgasbergen. <laughs> I don't know. Welcome to the Riot Podcast. Nikki and I have a lot of work to do. We do. And so what happens, because we have a very long day, is we're kind of like about ready to jump into the long day, but now it's like the one moment of freedom where we're still having our snack. Wee. If you don't think we're kidding, there's a snack. I had peanut butter toast. I had a Oreo Nikki cupcake. Nikki says that peanut butter toast me. is making me fat. That's I did what not she, say that at all. But she said... No, you have been having... And this is not <laughs> This isn't... Your comment was, I haven't lost any weight since blank. Right. And I was telling you as a reminder... Been having a lot of because toast. Because your stomach's been so sick, you've been on the... What diet is it? The brat diet? The brat diet. And that's it's a lot all of- brats and uh, wiener dogs <laughs> until you feel better. Until then, you have you like toast and Bananas, peanut butter, rice, applesauce, toast. Now, and I peanut butter is not even on that. To put peanut butter on the toast. <laughs> so I was just reminding you, you've only had a lot of toast stuff that normally makes its way on the no no diet. <laughs> I am on the opposite. I'm on like the all carb diet. And my comment back was because you sounded genuinely shocked. <laughs> like you had- like you haven't lost weight. Come on. And I was like, well, guys, you, you've just had peanut butter toast. Pass that rice over here. And rice. What? And rice. It's good for you. You're not supposed to eat that, though, if you're wanting to. Well, I'm going to keep eating it. Well, All until right. you're feeling better, you well, eat what you want, and it's not right. about that. And I mean, they sell shirts in a 2XL. I'm fine. <laughs> I got no problems. Hey, today on the podcast... If you start putting rice on your peanut butter toast, I'm out. That's it. I can't take it anymore. Because you can't ask me anything. Well, here's the thing, though. Like, when you... Where I'm at currently is that... um, Can't have soda. All right? I can't have a lot of nice things. So... And which we talk about a little bit in the podcast. You you work with what you can. True. And that's just And it's messing with my dreams now, guys. (laughs) I can't sleep. (laughs) So look, tonight, tonight, today in the podcast, uh, we do talk about my dreams. Uh, what's happening at Krispy Kreme, the parking lot money scam, uh, and you should really stop by Facebook today. I don't say that often, but if you come to the Radio Uriah Facebook page, you'll see our discussion about the top superhero movies of the year. Yes, you can help uh, weigh in on that. Uh, because we talked to Matt from Waverly last week, but uh, on Twitter, the discussion goes on about, you know important things. So enjoy that at Radio U Riot on Facebook. Also our YouTube channel as we ascend is yes. in this as well. And mm-hmm. coming up tomorrow during that podcast, we should have propaganda joining us too. Okay. Carry on everyone. It is the riot. Carry on with your toast and peanut butter. <laughs> Eat it up. The worst of the riot. Proof that you're already living in that dark future dystopia. Radio U. So last week um, when I was sick, I had a seven up, which I say doesn't count. Like it's like, it's technically soda, but it's like, it doesn't count. Well, I didn't you have to give the bigger picture for those. The OB stopped having soda. I which did. I quit used drinking soda. a lot more than that. Like big time, all the time. Big, big, big time, big time. So last week I had a seven up and some crackers because I didn't exactly want to go drive and buy seltzer water. I knew there were some seven up from the last time someone was sick. So I'm like, you know what? That fine. I'm gonna have a can of this. Like it's we're we're walking the line. Like this, you know, it's technically a soda, <laughs> but I'm not drinking it it's for not pleasure. A <laughs> it's not. It's not like a diet coke. No, no, no. And it's not like you're having uh, the large, large, large size. But it is still soda. It's a 12 ounce can. I say, it, and you and Nikki, I've asked around. I want you to know you're the only person in my life that thinks it counts. Because I think they're trying to be nice to you. I'm telling you how it's real. I think you're trying to be hard on me and everyone else is being reasonable. But that's a story for for another time. They want you to feel better until you get the truth. So here's the funny thing, though. That was Wednesday last week, maybe Thursday. I spent the entire weekend, which if you don't count the seven up, I'm at like 58 or 59 days. Like it's been a long time. I'll tell you what. It's been a real long time since I've had a Diet Coke. 
<laughs> or perhaps a Diet Dr. Pepper. Not saying. It's been a really Any long time. Any particular brand of choice. Almost two months. <laughs> and uh, over the weekend, I wanted it so bad. I and the other thing was your body had a taste of it again. May, maybe I DJed a wedding on Saturday. Mm. Now normally I would DJ a wedding, and it would be you take a I put coffee in a tumbler, shove it in a bag. But then on the way there, you get yourself a soda that's so big you can swim in it if you need a break. <laughs> Right, and that's what you take with you. And then you so, just put that right there on the uh, the DJ stuff, and yeah. you're ready. And then the other thing is, when I get done with a wedding, uh, on the way back, I typically that is a like when because a wedding is a ton of work, et cetera, et cetera. It's a big deal. So when I get done with a wedding, I can have whatever I want, like any fast food restaurant, any whatever. I can have it. And I got done, and I was just like, if I can't have soda, I don't want any of it. <laughs> Well, that's for sure. You just <laughs> keep your stupid McNuggets. I don't even want them. Okay, so your body's upset again, yes. No, and then I've got one more thing I want to tell you. Sunday night, yeah. I had dreams Did about you? going... <laughs> I had, I had dreams about going to a gas station <laughs> and getting soda. soda. See, your body was like, wait a minute, I thought we are going to do this again. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it was so ridiculous. If you're dreaming about soda, then yes, it's on the brain. I wanted it bad. Yes, you did. <laughs> I even drove past McDonald's this morning and they're like, one dollar sodas. And I was like, take thy beak from out my heart. I can't take well, it. Way to go on uh, fighting that pressure. Well, you know what I did? I just thought to myself, uh, you know what? Stand, You can stand strong. And then I thought about the fundraiser, <laughs> and I just cried into my pillow. Having a bad day? Blame the riot. Everyone else does. And in fairness, it's probably their fault. Radio U. Okay. One day only. Only one day. Mm-hmm. And it's this Friday. And I hope that everybody's ready. Friday, September 8th is the only day that you're going to be able to get a pumpkin spice donut at Krispy Kreme. A pumpkin spice donut? They haven't done the, that before? Or? I don't think. Seems according, like that, according to this. That donut train would have been jumped on a long time ago. Okay, you know what? No, no, no. no. This says they're back. So maybe. So then there must have been a time when they were there. Sure. Because you can't be back if you've never been there. That's a lesson right there. Don't go too deep, okay? Boy, you can really unlock some wisdom with language. Especially about pumpkin stuff. Really tip your hand there. So, yeah, but they're saying they're only going to make them for one day. One day only? And that's this Friday. Why so soon? Like, if it's a pumpkin spice donut, why wouldn't you wait a little bit closer into October? Well, maybe they're trying to get out in front of it. Could be. I mean, Maybe gra- they're like one day only in September, and then it comes out again in October. Oh, man. Man, Small print. <laughs> that is so what they're going to do. You are so right about Small that. Print. They're going to say one day only. This month. And everybody <laughs> rushes to get one. And then... To see may, how it what, does. What do you think? Middle of next week? Or do they start with Monday? They come out and say the demand was so, so high. high for our pumpkin spice donuts at participating Krispy Kremes only on Friday, September 8th. That... We're going to have to bring them back starting October 1st. For a limited time only. Your chance to have the pumpkin spice <laughs> donut. It's not like that's bad for Krispy Kreme to do. I mean, that's business. That's, that's a, what that's they a, do. a marketing approach right there. But maybe, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. I rolled my eyes a little bit. I'm going to have to rub this one. It's kind of sore now. Put it back in. <laughs> Something like that. But, yep, that's what they say. A pumpkin spice donut. Do you... Find yourself craving the pumpkin no, spice? No, I, I don't crave pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice nothing? Nope. No cares? No, not really. What about a pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie? Now, Put a little whipped cream on the top? Thanksgiving, I'm all for that. Oh, but can't, but can't, not really. Uh, go in a little early for a little pumpkin pie? No, I actually don't like pumpkin pie enough. Oh, okay. I mean, I like it, but it's just not my dessert of choice. I like it. Now, I discovered pecan pie oh, right here yeah, in this no. studio. They're happy that, pecan pie day. I mean, I'll tell you that, like, after you discover that, it's that hard. was a... You're like, I'll like a pumpkin pie with some pecans in it. <laughs> Please. You guys have that? I wonder if you can make that, I'll like a, a combo. I'll take a side of pumpkin pie with my pecan pie meal. Yes, with some ice cream, please. What about a pecan pie donut? I don't see that on the list. About one day only right after that. Well, I'll tell you. We hate to tell I, you how to run your business, Krispy Kreme, but... And Krispy Kreme, I hate to tell you that I'm not coming this Friday for a pumpkin spice donut. My bad. But 
if you had a pecan pie donut. We might have to try that. Boy, we really got off point pretty uh, fast there. Well, I mean, we just like moving on to something we like. I don't know. I like, I'll eat some pumpkin spice something and I'll even, I typically will only do it one time, mm-hmm. but you can get me to drink a pumpkin spice latte. Sure. Yeah, I that's... feel like it's it's been done. And for me, like for Starbucks, they've come out with a lot of drinks. Yeah. Like monthly. There's yeah. a lot of new drinks. It's true. So the factor of having a specialty drink is long gone. Yeah. You just don't care anymore. Well, if you want to put that negative spin on it, but... (laughs) Just like so many other things. I just just don't care anymore. I just don't care. I mean, it's not quite like that. Oh, my gosh. I don't hear that tone. I'm sorry. I didn't didn't mean it that way. I just stopped caring. (laughs) That goat farm is looking more and more likely every day. It's the worst of the riot. So this is the weirdest scam that I've ever heard. Apparently, it's like a known scam, but I... I, You've totally got me. Check this out. Lady goes into a parking lot. She's coming out of, uh, I don't even know what kind of a store. And somebody goes, hey, did you lose something? And she looks over and she's like, what? And a lady holds up a wallet. With that tone. <laughs> what? <laughs> a lady holds up a wallet that appears to be full of money. Sure. Like tons of money. And so she's like, oh my gosh, this money, whatever. So then another lady comes over and she's like, hey, what are you guys doing? And, oh, look, we're all having the money. Yeah. Um, So then she's like, well, finders, keepers, follow me. Let's go. I work for this company down the road. They've got a counting machine. Let's go use the counting machine. I know it gets. Who's going with that? You don't follow people. She follows them down to this realty company. Yeah. This lady goes inside and comes out and she's like, there's $150,000 in cash in this and we'll just split it three ways and so it's like oh my gosh fifty thousand dollars so she's all excited and this is the part where i can't even i honestly fathom it i can't even fathom this she's like all right well let's go to the bank and she tells her now i need you to go in and get two thousand dollars cash to prove that you're financially responsible who's falling for this that's like no way. Oh, my gosh. All three women had to provide cash to prove they were financially responsible. Oh. So they go to the credit union. Oh. She goes in, gets $2,000, and then uh, she, the lady says, let's go one at a time or something like that. She gave the lady the money. And she, then she like disappeared around the back of the building, and the other, the second woman was in on it. Yeah. So they just took this one lady for two thousand dollars. They went through all that. Well, okay. In fairness, you and I. Well, that's what, that's how like many a, hours? How many hours are going to be true, in here today? True. And are either one of us going to make two thousand dollars? Okay. True. No, you're right. That so, is, I mean, if that's you only, a lot of money. If you only ran one scam today and you've cleared two thousand dollars in one day, apparently a very good day. My question is this: So, the hundred fifty thousand dollars cash that was supposedly in a wallet, which can you get that much in a wallet? No. No. But was that real or counterfeit money? I'm assuming it must counterfeit. be counterfeit. She didn't really get a look at it. Yeah. So, you know, Nikki, when I use counterfeit money, I put a couple of real ones on each side yeah, of the stack. It makes it fake, and then you think it is. Right. Yeah. And then people are like, look, Aww, it's real. That poor lady. How do you. She I don't thought even... she made $50,000. Instead, she lost $2,000. Anytime somebody says, let's go to the bank so you can prove to me you're financially responsible. Uh, Actually, let's back it down even that. Don't go anywhere with anybody. What are you doing? And I'll tell you something else, too. If somebody holds up a wad of cash and is like, is this yours? The answer is no. And I'll tell you, you touch it. I'll tell you why. Because if there's a wad of cash laying in a parking lot somewhere, what do people do in parking lots? Drug deals. (laughs) And someone's going to come looking for that money. Haven't you seen any movies like this? And you don't want to have the drug dealer show up at your house with his posse (laughs) from the cartel. And all you have to show for it is a big screen TV. You've seen some of the Netflix movies or TV shows. You know how it's going to go. Listen, I can get the money back. I kept the receipts for all of this. (laughs) Costco has a 90 day return return policy. policy. No questions asked. I'll send it now. Can you just give me two days? So oh you don't want any of that to happen. Just you, f- just run away. You don't want anything. She's like, my mom said I can't talk to you. 
<laughs> just get in the car and leave. Just go away. Good call. I can't. Uh, not well, allowed to take candy or know, money from strangers. I, I know. And I know you're like, I'm not going to fall for that. All right. Well, the candy's for the young ones who don't understand. And the money schemes are for the older ones. So if you just talk with your parents or your grandparents and just let them know, then you've got everybody covered. Now, Nikki, do you have $2,000 to show me you're responsible? No. If you do, I've got some candy for you. <laughs> I mean if, money. I've got some money you, for you. If you fall for all of it. The Riot Sees Gas Station Hot Dogs is part of a balanced breakfast. Is that bad? Well, not good. It's The Riot. Now look, I don't want to upset anybody, but I got some truth to tell. Men hate weddings. Even their own. They don't even like going to their wedding. In fact, I because I've seen it. Like You can see the groom is just like, when is this over? Like, is it not soon? in a mean way, which no, I think, no. you know, like we would take it as it's not. And that's the thing is, all right, like everybody get out your emotional cards. OK, like for women, their emotion, emotional involvement in a wedding is a 10 for a man. Our emotional involvement is like a two or a three. Now, it doesn't mean we're not emotionally involved in the marriage. Sure. We're a 10 on that. We're a 10 on that. It's the wedding that we're like a two on. The same thing for like prom or any sort of dance. Yeah. The, and you know what? Let me just tell you a good, like, how you know. Notice how intricate and different all the different dresses are that women wear to these events. And then men have one outfit, and they're all the same. That's how you get them to go. No, there's a suit or a tux. There's two. No, but see, no, no, no. But see, that's even a woman trying to get in and innovate in that space. Because, like, I don't want my man wearing a tux like everyone else. He's wearing a suit. (laughs) It's like, oh, yeah, here we go. Whatever. But see, even Nikki, could anybody else hear the female emotional response to the truth about male involvement in the wedding process? Did you hear it? You guys, if you didn't hear it, I want you to know I saw it. You saw it? I saw (laughs) it. And it's fine. It's not. It's fine. It's not wrong to be that excited. It's not wrong to not be excited. And a lot of people say, like, no, that's not true. Because, of course, I know every girl listening is like, well, my man's not like that. He's different from all the other ones. Hey, sweetheart, newsflash. (laughs) One one year into your relationship, guess what you learn? Oh, my gosh, he's like all the other ones. They're all the same. (laughs) And it's true. Oh, my gosh. And it's true. And I'll just tell you that I feel like I received... (laughs) <laughs> undeniable confirmation of this on Saturday night. I DJed a wedding Saturday night and it was great and it was fun. And I, it was supposed to be outside and it rained all day. So there was inside. So they moved it inside and they moved it inside to where the reception was going to be. So I, of course, have to come a couple hours early, set up the equipment. And as a result, I'm there early. I just went to the wedding. So, you know, I'm that's tactic- a bonus with our service. If you'd like Obi to attend, right. technically, <laughs> he won't not- just DJ it. He'll come to your party for the whole thing. Technically not invited. Waited till the very last second to find a seat. Sure. And then I sat down and then there were these people that came in after me and we were all sitting at tables because, you know, reception and this entire family fills up all the seats around me. And I end up sitting next to this kid. I think he was like four or five little boy, obviously not interested. He's getting fidgety. And finally, the bride hasn't walked out yet, but we're getting darn to close get to the start. And it hasn't even yeah. started. Darn close to the start of the wedding. And he in a loud, clear tone says, I just want to do this quickly so we can get out of here. And And who hasn't thought that? And I just thought to myself, like, ah, look, at a young age, the male human being, while attending the wedding ceremony, has already firmly established that he wants to get it over so he can leave, probably, and he didn't say this, but I'm speculating, so he can get out of that ridiculous outfit his mom made him wear. (laughs) Probably. Even though I think one of two things, like... I think he heard someone say that. I don't think so, Nikki. I'm going to have to say flag on the play. No, I, think I think that he heard was, someone. I think that was his heart speaking. And it could be still, but he that's he got the words of what to say from somebody else. Well, certainly language and is something that's learned. You did a poll of everybody at that wedding, and no one wants to be at weddings. Oh, no, not no one, Nikki. The bride is very excited well, to be outside there. outside of the party itself, yeah. like guests, no one ever wants to go to a wedding or a dress-up party. Oh, I don't. I don't agree with you. I don't think that's true. True. Okay. I think. I. I think there are women that are excited just for a chance to finally make their man dress up. <laughs> Would you put on something nice, nice for once, please? <laughs> We're going to a wedding. <laughs>
And then I just want to do this quickly so we can get out of here. <laughs> Let's take all of the most mind numbing things the riot has ever said and play, play them again. again. It's a stupid idea, but I love it. It's the riot on Radio U. It feels like a yelling day. Is there anything you want to yell about today, Nikki? <laughs> no, not really. I don't feel that way. So mine's more like, oh, let's just mosey on through the day as quiet as possible. Well, not yell. Okay. All right. Like, what about a. An angry, glaring day. That could work. Yeah. Give me time. Maybe you later in the day. Work up to it. Yeah. Work up to it. We got it. a long day, so I'm sure by the afternoon, a glare or two will peek out. So many things to happen today. So many, <laughs> there's so many things. And so many things that I'm going to encounter in which I'm going to have to. <laughs> Put a glare on your face or a smile on your face. Well, I mean, there's. So, I'm going to encounter so many things today. They're going to require me mm-hmm. to control my emotional response. You know so what maybe I to make it better. I don't. What I, <laughs> I think you brought an apple. I went apple picking. <laughs> I'll tell you what I wanted you to do. So I brought that. Oh, you want what else did you want me to pull out of the Nikki purse? Nikki pulled an apple out of her purse, but I wanted to reach in and get a gun. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I brought today to make it better? What do you think? I think that's in the handbook. Like, I'm not allowed to do that. If any fool messes with me, I'm going to smoke them. <laughs> no. Uh, I just, oh, and I brought this apple. I brought an apple in because, you know, that was fun. So yeah. that should make the day really great. Well, you know what? Can't top that. Can't top that. Nikki. I didn't think you could. That's why I, I pulled it out of the purse. Just stop I'll right there. I'll put it back in then. Okay. Well, yeah, because I'm going to stare at it the whole time. You went Macintosh apple picking. I did, yeah. When did I go? Sunday. I went apple picking on Sunday. Oh, apple picking on Sunday? That's scandalous. I actually looked on (laughs) Google Maps like, is there traffic? (laughs) Because I figured Sunday would be a busy day, but it was fine. Yeah, there's picnic traffic. Yeah, it was great. So I went and picked uh, uh, a small bag. Yeah. Which now I went. I wish I would. Fifteen dollars. Wish I would have gone with a larger bag. Always go with a larger bag. Well, I've eaten a lot, so <laughs> like I've gained like ten pounds of water weight from yeah, these but apples. It's apple weight? No, it's still something. <laughs> it doesn't count. It's apple weight. It. There well, is. Weight. Well, that's different. <laughs> if you're deep frying the apples in peanut butter, because <laughs> like, there's not something. The same. I put a lot in, and I was like, "Oh, is this two tablespoons? Like, is that a serving?" And I thought, "Oh, those are heaping." <laughs> It's fine. So it's good. So did you yell at the people at the apple orchard? No, I didn't. I don't think I did. Did you yell at people when you were driving back? Like, I can't believe that guy cut me off. No, I never like to do that. You yell at I always try to just keep my my head down. Just whatever. You know, get through the day. Just like bury it inside and and then let it out on the apple. Yes, and then I'm just crying. Oh, I bit its head clean off. Oh, gosh. Why is everything so weird? What? Why is it weird? Did you? Well, I ate an apple. I didn't That's take my disgusting. anger. I didn't take my You're anger sick. out. Fine, I can't even like, talk to you. You know what? I'm gonna <laughs> slather you in peanut butter. Crunchy and peanut. Eat you slow. It's the bones. <laughs> the crunch of the bones. <laughs> oh yes. It's just weird, right? You're weird. You know, that's kind of mean. One of the only things left that isn't owned by Disney. The Riot on Radio U. Uh, You know what? Just as a side note, we talked to Matt from Waverly, who is also the touring guitarist for House of Heroes. That's how that ties in. And uh, you can hear that interview at riot.radiou.com. But I'm currently involved in a Twitter discussion with him and Israel, formerly from Staple and Disciple, about how we rate... The comic book movies that were released uh, this year. Oh, so that's that's going on on Twitter today. I mean, that's what I'm working on, guys. Because, like, <laughs> all right, Matt says Spider Man at one, Guardians of the Galaxy at two, Wonder Woman at three, and Logan at four. Now Israel says Spider Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, Logan, Wonder Woman. So he puts Logan well, above like, Wonder Woman. Yeah, but it seems like you're sticking with the top five, the same top five. Well, there's only four comic book movies that have been out so far. Oh, this I year. thought of like all time, but okay. No, this no, no. Year. We're just talking. Oh gosh, we don't have time for that talk. Right? That's, that's more than Twitter or any of us can handle. Well, what's yours? Well, see, this is the problem I have. Looking at these four movies, I've seen them all. I agree that Spider-Man Homecoming is at the top. They're just no matter what. It it was too. It was so good, it was too good. Sure. Okay? So there's that. But they both agree with Guardians of the Galaxy 2 coming in at number two. I haven't seen that or Logan since I saw them in the theater. And so I feel like I need a rewatch prioritize party in which I could... Before you send out this list. Like before I'm ready to give my definitive list for the year. Because part of me feels like Logan deserves to be above Guardians. Uh, Logan messed me up, dude. 
it was just like, I got to get out of this theater. It's too, it's too much. I'm getting emotional over here. Uh, but at, to this point, though, you're not sure like where you'd, where, if it, if it's identical to um, their list. So, yeah, because I mean, I really liked Guardians as well, but it was just a little too jokey. Yeah, I was going to say you weren't as uh, enthralled with it I as wasn't. I thought you were going to be, that, but most people weren't. It wasn't the same as like the first one. It, it just wasn't quite, I did not think it was quite as good. Maybe because the expectations were too high. It was still good. I mean, you understand, it was all better than Wonder Woman. I'm sorry, Wonder Woman's going to be at the bottom of that pileup no matter what. Well, now we know. Because, guys, listen, Wonder Woman was like a not very good Marvel movie. Now, it's the best DC movie, if we're not counting, obviously, the Nolan trilogy or Superman the movie starring Christopher Reeve. Like, if we're... like I. I'm sorry. Are you? No, no. I'm just. I'm agreeing dismi- with it's you. just like I feel like you had a dismissive tone. I didn't. I, just, I feel like I you had a dismissive tone. On the list. It seems like you've landed on it. So and I, I thought, like, well, we're opening it back up again. Well, I mean, I'm just. I'm still not sure about Logan and Guardians. Why don't you post on our Radio U Riot and our Radio U Facebook page? Um. Do I let people join the discussion? Yeah, like what is what is their top list? I'll tell you what. Before I'm you put go, it. then that way you're picking the most popular one. All right. Well, okay, that's fair. That's fine. So again, if you guys, I'll, I'll put that on there. You guys can look at it and let me know. Um, and then also, don't forget where this all started. That Matt from Waverly interview. <laughs> you that's can posted hear there that. Too. Yeah, that's there. That's posted. That's there. The riot talks about wanting a day off, but when do we get a day off from them? Whoa, you suck at this. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Nikki, if I said Fitspo, would you know what I meant? Uh, like a fitness expo? Kind of. How about a fitness inspiration? Fitspo, okay. Fitspo, that's the hashtag. Sure. Or one of the ones that you'll find on Instagram, which... Let's be honest. There's so many. and <laughs> Way too many hashtags on Instagram, right? I mean, who can keep up? Especially really? fitness ones. Yeah. Uh, well, I thought this was fascinating. A lot of people do this. They will look at Instagram and they'll do hashtag Fitspo or whatever. And the idea is you look at fitness models so that you're inspired for you to put in the hard work and determination so you can look like them. To look like the person. Here's what they found. And... This really shouldn't come as a shock to anybody, but sometimes it's good just to say it out loud. This study finds that if you look at Fitzbo, guess what? You're more likely to hate your body than anyone else. I think if you go back a couple of years, uh, you have, you know, all the traditional talk of like advertising and how they're um, taking a picture and changing everything and airbrushing and you're really not getting an accurate picture of like what the person really looks like well back in the day with the start of instagram and a lot of social media i think we looked at people and you could see like a normal person a little bit more but now there's just as many tricks to all those postings that you're not seeing an actual person anymore still you're just back to seeing another digital like altered person i like what nikki has to say right there where there was a brief window when instagram almost reflected life yeah and instead instagram it's interesting it's made us all brand managers we're all brand managers of ourselves so we have to make sure that we present the absolute best face forward possible on instagram i mean you guys heard me editing our our facebook posting right i mean it's like well should i lead with this or should you lead with that <laughs> it's like, what should do you, you do what's the best way what do you think we should do here so even and, with fitness models and stuff that you might look at for inspiration they are changing they're altering their photos right like altering them or at the very least and here's something you have to remember I took a photo of someone the other day and they didn't like it. It's like, well, let's take a look at it, okay? The lighting's not great. I mean, we did all these things in a hurry. It's like you look at the lighting, you look at the angle, you look at whatever. If you really, really wanted the best picture, we should have taken time. We should have chosen a better background, gotten better lighting, and probably used a better angle. And then maybe we'll brush a few things up. Yeah, then you'll go with that picture. So I just think it's good to remember because I do... It's not just Instagram, but I feel like almost all across life, if you look, you're being presented with an unrealistic standard by which you are constantly judging yourself. You look at these Instagram models, their entire job, their entire day is to get the picture right, is to get that picture right. (laughs) So, like, the diet that they eat, the exercises that they do, that is their entire day focused on that 
photo, which, by the way, they didn't take themselves. You know, they have, in most cases, at least have one other person that is helping them put that photo together. Well, a team of people, even from down to wardrobe. And yeah. You're just like, well, I have two minutes and I don't like my picture, you well, know, and then you get sad. Yeah. Well, you start thinking about it. you're a full time student. You work part time. You're excited that you made it to the gym three times this week. You're watching what you eat, but your friends did get together for pizza last night. And then you're trying to, in the middle of all of that, snap one selfie that's supposed to be perfect. It's not fair. Like, it's not fair. Don't be unfair to yourself. And you know what? Maybe, I, I'm not saying you have to unfollow Fitzbo or whoever it is that you follow, but just be aware that there is a direct correlation between hating how you look and how much time you spend looking at those quote-unquote perfect people. Worst of the riot, not enough. Not enough. Check the blog and all things riot at riot.radiou.com. Joining us on the phone for the very first time, Nikki. It'll be so nice to talk with them. The guys and As We Ascend. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, guys. How are you guys doing? Oh, doing awesome. Oh, fantastic. Good. Yeah, now, we're... now, who all is on the phone? Because I think there's three of you, right? Yes, this is Jake. This is Robert. And Justin. So how far apart are you guys that you're each on the line? Really far yeah. apart. Jake and I, yeah. um, this is Robert, Jake and I are about 30 minutes apart, and... Justin is a lot more minutes apart over in the uh, Pacific Northwest. Ooh, dude. So, yeah. Justin, where in the Pacific Northwest do you live? I'm on the Olympic Peninsula, so like an hour and a half west of Seattle. Oh, nice. That's, oh, that's good. so much Beautiful. cooler than where we live. I want to live there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. You know, I have a full beard most of the time, and I wear logging clothes, and I drive a big truck. And, do you, you actually know, do... Lots of coffee. Do you do logging? No. So, no, but, you know, if you live out here, you have to chop tree down at least once a month. And right. you have to dress the part <laughs> if yeah. you're going to live there, so it seems like he does. Okay. Well, I just want to make yep. sure, I didn't want to know if this is a logger or a logging poser. I wanted to be <laughs> careful. You want to make sure you're fine. You know who I was talking to. Well, this is As We Send. So, Jake, and, and where are you guys at, then? If he's in the Pacific Northwest, where are you guys? We're we're down here in Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, okay. Okay. So then how... Roughly. How did you guys come together being so far apart? Like, how did that the band thing happen with such distance? Yeah, well, Justin used to used to actually live down here with us, um, and him and I were in the band We As Human. Right. Um, and so then, uh, after things transitioned out of that, uh, Robert has been a, a great friend of ours, um, and I do a lot of uh, recording, producing, that sort of thing, and so does Robert, so we work together a lot on other projects. And uh, and so, um, so yeah, it was just kind of was a natural. I think we were going to do a different gig for someone else. The, all three of us were filling in as a band for somebody else, and and uh, and so I, I, Justin and I had already written "Wash Away." It was already out, and I think we said, "Hey, we need a drummer. We want to we want to write a whole record." Uh, and Robert said, "Well, hey, I I want to be a drummer, you know, with you guys." So <laughs> well, that worked out. <laughs> Since he's not a logger, he he had an opening, so yeah. it's fine. <laughs> so right. <laughs> The album came out in March, but you yep. guys are all living apart. How do you guys get together and practice for tour? Oh, we fly. We, I mean, we have a superpower. So. <laughs> practice. You so, know, practice is for amateurs. We're well beyond practicing. I see. So, I, well, yes. I, you know what? I'm sorry that I even asked the question. Like, should <laughs> I should have known? I, I should have known. I'm sorry. So you guys I mean, actually, you know, you know as, as a carryover from our previous band, uh, we assume you know you just plan. Well, we procrastinate till the last week of <laughs> yeah. whatever we have to do, and then we do it. And we rely on our abilities. We've all been playing for a long time, so. Um, so you know yeah. how to do it when crunch time comes right. and you're about ready to go on tour. Then you just kind of spend the time together, but otherwise um, you can practice at home too. You don't have to practice yeah. together. Yeah, it, it makes it makes for a very interesting first rehearsal. We usually stare at each other and go, "What are we doing?" It's just like we're together. <laughs> how do we do yeah. this part? Yeah. Like, so we fire ourselves a few times, then we rehire ourselves after a couple of days of getting it, and then we do the, do the show or the tour. Okay, so you guys are actually getting, or you're not on tour now, but you're getting ready to go on the City Rock Fest tour, right? Yes. Okay, so when does that start up? Goodness, for us, it's it's uh, looks like it's going to be starting up in 
April. So the tour goes out in March, and I don't know how much I'm allowed to actually say. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> you know what? I, mis- I misunderstood that. I thought that was a fall tour. So, like, I... T- you have like, until I the totally, spring. I totally screwed that up. Um, so, well, the tour that just that just went out is the Small Town America Tour, and I think it just started yesterday or day before or something like that. Okay. So... We're not on that one. Oh, you ha- do you guys have, like, any fall plans like that, or what are you guys going to do? Uh, no, nothing, uh, nothing official. Um, okay. I... You know, we we were kind of talking to a couple of different bands, and and uh, you know, I think probably what's going to wind up happening is we'll we'll chill out, out at home this fall and and just get ready for the spring. Okay, that's cool. So when you guys are chilling out at home, uh, aside from wearing flannel and looking like the Northwest like, <laughs> with the beard and all the coffee and all that stuff, and all then the of Nashville those things, stuff, right? You know, right. That. So what do you guys do in the meantime? Uh, I'm and man, I'm I'm pushing out records. Robert and I uh, work together a lot, uh, mm-hmm. and I think you guys are actually playing some of the some of the the albums that that we've been able to put out in the last year. Um, they're at Radio U, which we're very grateful. But yeah, so that's that's what I'm doing. That's what that's what we're doing out this way and uh, making music, writing songs, and and uh, it, whether it's for ourselves or for other people, and then uh, helping helping make some of these other bands' dreams come true and and get them some killer tunes. Now, see, awesome. I think Obi wanted a more shallow answer. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Not a I sit on the couch and play with my belly button. That's line. what uh, we wanted. Okay, that's the well, real I mean, story. That's the stuff I can connect yes, with. Yes, that's but... what he understands the most. Not touring or music. No, it's no, not, no. It's okay. It's okay. Well, <laughs> but you guys seem like you work very hard, and uh, obviously the music coming out is great. So it's good you're spending all that time with it. Well, thank, oh, thank you. you. Yeah. Well, you know, I know that it's really early for you guys, but we appreciate you getting up and hanging out with us and stuff. And we've been loving the new music, so we look forward to hearing more from As We Ascend. Man, thank you very oh, thank much. You guys for, yeah, thanks for playing our music, too. It means a lot to us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hang on just one second. And I, so nice to meet them. So the details are still coming out, but they will be on the City Rock Fest tour, and that will kick off in the spring, which is so weird to think that we're getting close to the end of 2017 that now the spring stuff is coming i know uh but yeah that'll be out with um i guess i won't say with anybody else just no, in no, case no, it's... is that yeah so we'll just leave that with that but they'll be on the city rock fest tour next spring your morning but without yelling laughing or music don't deprive me of that we wouldn't dream of it it's the riot on radio U. yesterday i was part of a yard sale uh, it wasn't really mine. Some friends of mine doing a yard sale agreed to participate. I did well, also you give, off I gave some of my stuff. So like, <laughs> I think you feel obligated if you drop off items to put I, in it. You know, I participated, uh, build a little fort, play some X, well, what PlayStation in the corner, whatever. And, uh, you know, it's, if you've never been a part of the yard sale, what I didn't realize is that there's yard sale culture. There's an etiquette. Oh yeah, man. Like people show up. And it's way chatty. Like, everybody just chat, 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 chatty, chat, 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 chat. Want to talk. That's took me by kind surprise. of by surprise. Yeah. But, I mean, that was it was very, like, let's talk about this Maybe and that. Maybe because they feel like they'll get more of a deal if they've chatted with you enough. All right. The other thing that I saw was that very few people were making deals. It was just one of those things where, like, this is listed as $10. I won't pay that. I'm leaving. <laughs> And it was like, okay, well, you know, you can pit, like, this is like a Craigslist thing. Everybody's coming in 20% under the markups and the price. It's just included. But most people paid exactly what was written on the tags. That's weird. With very few people that were like, ah, it's 15, I'll give you a 10. Sure. You know, stuff like that. And I'll tell you what, my Darth Vader alarm clock did not sell. Uh, Wow. Do you see the shock? Like, I am... Genuine shock. Amazed. How can people not want the Darth Vader alarm clock? I put $10 on it knowing that I'd be lucky to get three. Well, people were maybe intimidated by that price. You're supposed to say to me, like, Darth Vader sucks. I'll give you a dollar. I didn't know that. I think Labor Day is a popular time for garage sales or yard sales. because It was a community one. I was driving around, and this one community, like, literally, it wasn't like um, a subdivision, though. It was like people were quite some distance apart from each other. Yeah. They had like professional setups and tents and not like tents like, hey, we're, we have a, a little personal tent. We're talking the size of the first floor of this building. The Someone, circus. The circus tent. Like they had that stuff and it was it was Im- impressive. Well, you know what? 
my art sale was awesome. We had Godzilla <laughs> movies and Darth <laughs> Vader clocks, and everybody else was like, we have baby crap. And so, like, everybody's going to these houses buying baby crap, and I'm like, look, when your kid grows up, do you want him to know what a large irradiated lizard looks like? Come by here. Buy this stuff now. Well, they need to get out of bed for school. Look at this alarm clock that I'm selling. Now I have 50% off at $5. Did anybody buy any of your stuff? Yep. They did. I sold a bunch of DVDs, okay, surprisingly. For like I, 10 cents, or what did you mark them a at? A dollar a piece. A, that's more than you would ever get online if you I resold know. them. A dollar a piece, and then I sold, I had my Star Trek Seen It game, mm-hmm. $5. Five dollars. Um, and I sold some coffee mugs, uh, between 50 cents and a dollar, depending. Sure. Um, and then, uh, so I mean, basically I worked all day and made about eight fifty. So I mean, it was totally worth it. It's like the experience of it. It was total. Oh, yeah. All that chatting and And stuff. And selling and and stuff. (laughs) Yeah, it's totally worth it. I did finish that Uncharted game, though. So that's something. The worst of the riot is over. But the fun can keep going. Hey, I saw you checking out my goods. Check the Riot blog or stalk us on social media. You want to sample them? A little tribe of you buy us? Through riot.radiou.com. What sort of interesting twist will this gender bending create?